so we're uh, ready to paint the dump truck. We have all of our tarps on, as you can see. Uh, we have everything covered that we don't want to get paint on, which is everything but the bed and the grill, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's hop into it. We got our paint. All right, so what we have here is we have two gallons of Rust-Oleum Red Oxide Primer that we're going to put into here. We're going to use this five gallon bucket as our mixing bucket. You'll wanna wear gloves when you're working with uh, oil-based paint. Real nasty stuff, it'll stain your skin. You just have to wear it out. So now you can mix this up to 50% with a paint thinner to make it easier to spray. I'm gonna start with 25%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour about a half gallon in. I'm actually going to use this to get the residual paint out of these two uh, gallon jugs. Now I will stir, make sure to get all the remaining paint that's in this can mixed into the paint thinner. Now I'll transfer this over to the other can and do the same thing. Now we're gonna mix this very thoroughly. If you're rolling this on with a roller, painting it on by hand, you don't need to thin it. It does help when you're spraying though. Helps you get a much better consistency with your equipment. You just wanna keep stirring it until you get all these, you see the separation in there. You have it's creamy here and it's darker there. You just gotta keep stirring it until everything's the same color, good consistency. So this is actually a paint sprayer that my good friend, Mr. Jody gave me. Um, he used to be a painter, but he's been forced with an early retirement. So he's uh, loaning this to me on the long term. But this is a really nice machine. It's a, it's a paint sprayer. It doesn't require any compressed air. All you do is you take your boot right here and you stick it down in your paint that you're going to be using. You got to plug it in. I got a couple different nozzles. I'm going to be using the smaller of the two nozzles or small sprayer, smaller spray pattern. So the first thing we're going to do is going to prime the system, which is going to be pulling paint out of the bucket and squirting it out of here to prime the cartridge. See the, the, there it is. Bucket. Beautiful. All right, now we'll make our way to the bed of the truck where we're going to start. And uh, I'm gonna put on all my PPE before I start spraying. been two days our primer is nice and dry and we're ready to apply a top coat we're going to be using rust-oleum farm and implement paint ford blue and also a little bit of magic catalyst hardener uh, anytime you use this you should be wearing a respirator to do that
So we're wrapping it up now. As you can see, a little paint in here in my nostrils. That's why you should definitely wear a respirator, especially if you're working with anything caustic. Check this out. This is our final color here. This is our final paint job on the bed. It looks pretty decent. We're gonna let this dry for at least three days. Old base paint takes a while to dry. See, we could have done more prep work if we wanted to and avoided some little ugly spots like that, but I'm really not too worried about it. It's a dump truck. All in all, I think it looks pretty dang good. Next thing we're gonna do is get some uh, two by tens and we're gonna deck out the entire bed. Well, thanks for watching. I got a birthday party to be at in an hour, so I gotta go home and get cleaned up. I'll catch y'all later.